Ah, new world order. Ridiculous. But where are you getting this from? We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order out there. What? Nah, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Now before I begin, I do not support Putin and I don't support NATO. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Nine points! It's been a bit obvious from my videos, but unless you've got a tattoo on your head that says F Putin mate, then people think you're his greatest fan. Now one thing that's been evident in the last couple of weeks is the influence of the United States and her beneficiaries. Corporations that have never taken a stand for anything in their life, whether it's slave labor, child labor, countries like Iraq being bombed with white phosphorus and depleted uranium. <laughs> nah, none of that, mate. Ukraine, if you don't hate what Russia's doing, mate, then do one, innit? You got countries like Switzerland that don't get involved in all this sort of stuff. Think of them as castrated. They've suddenly been able to grow a sack and also have decided to side with NATO. Countries like India that didn't respond immediately were threatened with sanctions. Pakistan was also threatened as well. Here's what the Prime Minister of Pakistan thought about that. European Union ke ambassadors ne khat likha Pakistan ko ki aap Rus ke khilaf uske mukhalif statement de uske khilaf vote de. Hum aapke samne kya hai? Now his day is obviously numbered. These are mad times we live in, mad! Now let's organize two camps here. On the one side, you've got people that blindly follow whatever the government says. The government gives you something, you take it, the government says something. It's on the news, mate. Do you not watch the news? And then on the other side, you've got the extreme conspiracy theorists. Nothing's real, mate. Even the moon. It's a satellite used to control our brains. And these viruses, it's not real, mate. People are faking. And what doesn't get mentioned is the middle ground between these two. So when the theory is presented, don't just put it as black and white. No, look into the evidences, it's even if it's not coming from the government, even if it's coming from a conspiracy quack, doesn't mean that it's not true. It just means it's not official. Whoa. So the New World Order is something that government loyalists have been scoffing at people that bring up. Ah, New World Order, ridiculous, but where are you getting this from? And uh, since then we established a liberal world order and- Ah, but he said liberal. Ah, you see how you guys twist these things. And now is the time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order out there. All right, fair enough, yeah, but like Twitter said, the phrase is regularly used to describe times of change or cultural shift. Hang on a minute, how does that make it any better? Especially when he's talking about the United States and liberalism taking charge. It's like the blind leading the blind. And those of you wondering, yeah, maybe he just said that. No, this is a speech that the President of the United States is giving. Firstly, his speeches are meticulously written out and they are checked. There are no mistakes, mate. And uh, since then we established a liberal world order and- And there's that word liberal again. Yeah, liberalism is something that's predicated on pleasure being more than pain. Yeah, we've got the founders like Jeremy Bentham that started all this business. It has no objective or godly compass that's governing it. It's solely people's desires. And that's why we see certain things that were considered wrong, abhorrent 30 years ago. Today, if you don't think of those things as normal, and then you're, you're seen as abnormal mate. And you know what I'm talking about, LGBT. In fact, here's what ex-US General Flynn had to say about this. All of what we are seeing play out in Europe right now is an upsetting of the balance of the world order as they want it. Yep. And, they have a, and they have a very sort of strategic idea of how they want to see the world develop. And, and God and, uh, and, the, and, uh, and, a, and a soul are not part of that uh, strategy. And lastly guys, some people are saying, come on, look at Biden. 
I mean, the guy can barely keep his eyes open. Let's be frank. What sort of new world order is he gonna lead? Well, firstly, if you think Biden's ruling the country, you need to redo your nursery years because you've got the fundamentals all mixed up. It's pretty elementary that most presidents are just figureheads, especially the United States ones. And my biggest case in point, Trump. What a stupid question that is. How did the United States not burn to the ground when he was president? What a stupid question. Because he clearly was not the one pulling all the strings mate. If you, you don't believe me? Okay, let's listen to Mr. Noam Chomsky then. What the whole propaganda system has been trying to uh, ram into your heads for 50 years. The government is the enemy and private power doesn't exist. Okay, now it's obvious why big corporations who are fighting the everlasting battle for the minds of men would want that to be the picture you have. So some more food for thought during this time. No need to panic guys. Alhamdulillah as Muslims we know Islam will prevail. We know that good will triumph over evil. So in that regard we don't need to feel anxious and worried because we know Allah is in control. Of course these things are going to happen. You just make sure you're looking after yourself your mental health and what's around you and your family and your friends and whatever is in your circle that you have control over. Things that are not in your control, that's where this word tawakkul, trust in Allah comes in. People mix this up, yeah? If when something's in their control, they don't bother and then you say, I had tawakkul mate. No, you do your best and then Allah will do the rest. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.